everyone welcome to my channel and today we are going to do some important sums on fraction okay hello friends today we are starting with the conversion of a mixed fraction into an improper fraction question number one exercise 2a express 3 5 by 14 as an improper fraction one thing you always remember whenever a mixed fraction is given uh, after conversion it will always be an improper fraction and uh, conversely an improper fraction can be expressed as a mixed fraction okay uh, there are no chances of conversion of a proper fraction into a mixed fraction and vice versa now we know a mixed fraction is a uh, combination of a whole number and a proper fraction here you see here 3 is a whole number and 5 by 14 is a proper fraction so 3 5 by 14 we can write like this 3 plus 5 divided by 14 again 3 means 3 divided by 1 as we know every whole number has 1 as their denominator is equal to 3 divided by 1 plus 5 divided by 14 is equal to LCM of 1 and 14 is we know 14 1 div 14 divided by 1 means 1 14s are 14 14 into 3 14 into 3 plus 14 ones are 14 means 5 into 1 is equal to 42 plus 5 divided by 14 is equal to 47 divided by 14 so this is the answer or simply we can do like that also 3 5 divided by 14 is equal to keeping 14 as denominator 14 always will be remain as uh, will remain as denominator is equal to 3 into 14 plus 5 is equal to 42 plus 5 by 14 is equal to 47 by 14 you see this one is an improper fraction um, as uh, here numerator is greater than the denominator okay now in the above i did it to show you elaborately how does it happen i think in maths understanding the root of the sum is very much essential for doing any sum so i did it to show you elaborately okay all right next uh, let's move on to the next question question number one two express 19 divided by 4 as a mixed fraction okay for uh, this we'll have to divide 19 by 4 now i'm dividing here 19 divided by 4 4 4 sir 16 we know 19 minus 16 is 3 3 is the remainder so now one thing you one important thing you keep it in your mind whenever we convert a mixed number to improper fraction or improper fraction to a mixed number denominator always remains same that means 4 will be the denominator this is final so 19 divided by 4 is equal to in place of denominator moyate ki likhim 4 or thai 4 e likhiya so and denominator change no hoy etia numerator tight ki hobo aru yate whole number tight ki hobo hai to more eta theory ase ma koi asu jitu ekdom talot ase mane etia divide korar pisot jitu ekdom talot bottom of thakibo hai to ami top aloi loi ahe that means 3 will be our numerator so this is 3 numerator this is 4 denominator and the remaining one that means this one will be our whole number part so in this way we can convert an improper fraction into a mixed fraction and uh, we can uh, verify also this is uh, by again converting into uh, uh, this uh, mixed fraction into an improper fraction suppose this is 4 3 by 4 if there is any doubt in our mind then we can convert it again this is our 4 this one is 4 into 4 4 into 4 plus 3 you see this one is 16 plus 3 19 divided by 4 so that means 
checking is done and uh, our sum is correct understand so exercise 2a question number 4 2 arrange the following fractions in descending order 1 7 by 12 7 by 18 2 5 by 6 1 1 by 3 okay uh, unfortunately like uh, regular numbers like 1 3 9 100 etc it's uh, not always easy to tell which fraction is bigger just by looking at them but but don't think that's going to be that hard okay now friends when two or more fractions have same denominator that means they are like fractions in that case it's very easy to compare suppose for example i'm taking here uh, suppose 7 by 5 2 by 5 13 by 5 etc they are all like fractions as they have same denominator here these are um, denominators are called common denominator and uh, during comparison ami okol a to asylum the year majot kuntu numerator dangor hoy now among 7 to 13 atait koi dangor number kuntu hoy 13 and next one is 7 and atait koi horu 2 so the fraction with the larger numerator has larger value so if we want to write in uh, ascending order that means smaller number to bigger number or simply we can say small to big kuntu agote likhim kwasun tumaluke kuntu agote likhim yes since 2 is the smallest numerator so the order will be small to big means first kuntu ahibo 2 by 5 next one 7 by 5 next one is 13 by 5 just like regular number uh, because only numerators we are counting small to big so the order will be like this but if the fractions don't have same numerator uh, that means sorry same denominators if they are unlike fractions they have not same denominator that means they are unlike fractions in that case we will um, use some methods or techniques to compare and uh, in this case you see they don't have same denominator that means they are unlike fractions so we will have to use some methods to compare which one is smaller which one is bigger and for that we will try we will learn three methods for comparing this type of fractions i will show you so here are three methods number one lcm method number two cross multiplication method number three converting decimal method and uh, third method we are not using now because after reaching decimal chapter we will do this and uh, i will use now lcm method and in the question it is given to arrange in descending order descending means bigger to smaller or simply big to small we can say like this and uh, for this uh, arrangement first task first thing we will have to do is to convert these mixed numbers into improper fraction if there is any here you see three numbers are given in mixed fraction so we'll have to first convert them first one i'm converting now 1 7 by 12 is equal to how much 12 will remain as a denominator and this one will be 12 into 1 plus 7 that means 12 plus 7 is equal to 19 divided by 12 second one will remain same because it is not in mixed fraction now 2 5 by 6 is equal to 6 will be here as is uh, as it is now this is our 2 into 6 plus 5 this is equal to 12 plus 5 is how much 17 by 6 and then last one is 1 1 by 3 is equal to 3 1 into 3 plus 1 is equal to 3 plus 1 means 4 divided by 3 so what are the new numbers new numbers will be 1 7 by 12 means 19 by 12 next one is our 7 by 18 third one is 17 by 6 and fourth one is 4 divided by 3 now 
second task is to get LCM of all the denominators. Why? Kyo LCM yate? Because we are going to make all these unlike fractions which are having uh, different denominators into like fractions. That means with same denominators so that we can compare them. Now I am uh, getting this one uh, LCM 12, 18, 6, 3. Okay. First I am trying with 3. 3 fours are 12. 3 six are 18. 3 twos are 6. 3 ones are 3. Now I am doing with 2. 2 twos are 4. 2 threes are 6. 2 ones are 2. 1. Again with 2. 2 ones are 2. 3 1 1. Again with 3. 1, 3 ones are 3, 1, 1. So, what is the LCM? LCM is equal to 3 into 2 into 2 into 3. This is equal to how much? 3 twos are 6, 6 twos are 12, 12 threes are 36. So, this one is the LCM of all the denominators. Etia, Mataikita fractions, Jibur Diyase, Sobore, Ami, denominator. 36 bonailo. Aru tarpisa <coughs> equivalent fraction or z2 rule as a head to apply kori. I mean numerator of change kori. Aru teti ami kihobo. Ami to easily ami compare kori bo parim kuntu dang or hoi kuntu horu hoi. Okay. So now I'm taking first one 19 divided by 12. This one is our first one. So I'm changing it. So how can we change this 12 into 36? I am 12 by 12 by kihare multiply kori le 36 hava. I am kene ke ulam 36 divided by 12 is equal to 3. That means 12 into 3 is equal to 36. Okay. So I am yate 12 into 3 likhim. But whenever we multiply denominator by 3, at the same time we will have to multiply numerator also by 3 to make them equivalent. And it's very important because first we'll have to uh, change our denominator. So always in uh, this type of sums, always you change your, you concentrate your, in your denominator. After uh, converting denominator into 36, then only we will think about that with uh, which number we are, we'll have to multiply this numerator. Okay. So. I have multiplied this denominator with 3. Now I am multiplying numerator also with 3. This is equal to denominator of 36. So numerator ki hobo 3 19s are 19 3s are 57. So second number is our 7 by 18. Now denominator of 36 bonabo like 18 into 2 is equal to 36 we know 18 2 36 at the same time we will have to multiply our numerator also with 2 so this is equal to 36 our denominator 36 ulai go and numerator hoi gol kima 14 now third one is 17 divided by 6 36 we will have to multiply 6 with how much 6 at the same time I will have to multiply 17 also with uh, 6. So, this is equal to our denominator 36 ahigol and 17 into 6 is equal to 6 and 42 2 4 6 and plus 4 10 1 0 2 by 36 and our last one is 4 divided by 3 then first I will concentrate on denominator because I will have to make it 36 3 into 12 is 36. If you can't do like this, jodi anake tumaloke kori bo nuara tithya hole tumaloke yate divide kori lo 36 divided by 3 jodi anake kora 36 divided by 3 g2 denominator asile amar agoto originally 3 kori le ki ulay 12. A g2 ula bo hai ture ami yate multiply kori le 36 ahi jabo. So 3 into 12 at the same time I'll have to multiply our numerator also with 12. So, this will uh, be our 3 12 sir 36 and our numerator will be 4 12 sir 48. Now, you see 
new fractions are what are our new fractions 57 divided by 36 comma 14 divided by 36 comma 102 divided by 36 and this one is 48 divided by 36 now it's become easy to get which one is bigger which one is smaller just like before as uh, these all are become like fractions so as in like fractions we know greater the numerator greater the fraction as uh, we are going to write descending order that means we will have to write big to small so yate kuntu atake dangor hoy 102 isn't it so as 102 is greater than which one next one is our 57 which is greater than 48 which is greater than 14 so we can write 102 divided by uh, 36 is greater than 57 divided by 36 which is greater than 48 divided by 36 we are writing in the order big to small 48 by 36 which is greater than which one is the last one 14 14 is the smallest number here 36 okay so this is the sequence now the most important thing most important thing is that you will have to write your original fractions in the answer okay so i am writing the original numbers which are given in the question in the descending order so original number is our uh, here this one was 2 5 by 6 comma 1 7 by 12 comma 1 1 by 3 comma 7 by 18 so this is the descending order descending order okay big to small never forget to write original numbers in your final answer okay so thank you for watching and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and share the video and if you have any doubt then you share with me in below comment section so see you guys in my next video till then bye